Is Britain still an inflation nation? Apparently not, say Prime Minister Rishi Sunak and Chancellor Jeremy Hunt. The plan is working, said the Chancellor this morning. Inflation has not just fallen decisively, but is forecast to hit the 2% target within months. Well, we've certainly suffered a lot of inflation in recent years, haven't we? Look at that. Back in October 2022, inflation was all the way up at 11.1%. That's a 40-year high. It's since fallen pretty steadily, but not in a straight line. And in recent months, it's been stuck at 4%. So what actually happened today when the ONS released some figures? We had inflation of 3.4%, a big reduction during the year to February. So prices went up on average by 3.4% during those 12 months, and that's the lowest CPI inflation number since September 2021. Let's have a look at the breakdown. Why is inflation falling? Because food prices are going up at a slower rate. Back in March 2023, 19% food price inflation. That's a 45-year high. It's fallen quite sharply. It's now at 4.5%. So still, prices of food are going up, but much less slowly. How about petrol and diesel? Well, petrol and diesel prices across the year have actually been coming down. Petrol in February 2023 was almost 4% cheaper than a year earlier, and diesel was almost 11% cheaper on the year but in recent weeks, petrol and diesel prices have been creeping, creeping back up. I know, and that's because of the oil price. And I'll come on to that in one moment. How about those pesky household utility bills? They've also been falling over the last year. Electrics, electricity, gas and other domestic fuel prices are down 18.2%, says the Office for National Statistics, over the last 12 months months. So what does this mean for interest rates? When inflation falls, the Bank of England is more likely to cut interest rates. We've seen a huge rise in interest rates since that COVID lockdown, all the way up to 5.25%. We've got a decision tomorrow from the Bank of England at 12 noon. I'll be there as ever explaining what's going on. But I still don't think the Bank of England is cut, going to cut interest rates for now. They're going to want to see inflation much closer to that 2% target. And there could be some fly in the ointment when it comes to bringing inflation down from our old friend the oil price. Already we've seen petrol and diesel prices going up in recent weeks. That's because recently oil prices have spiked up on geopolitical tensions, Russia, Ukraine, Palestine, Hamas and all the rest of it from $80 a barrel to $89 a barrel over the last few weeks. That's an 11% rise. The Tories are hoping desperately that this lower inflation will push up real wages, take home pay, and there'll be an economic bounce before an election. This sets the scene for better economic conditions, which could allow further progress on our ambition to boost growth and make work pay, says Chancellor Jeremy Hunt. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Downing Street strategists looking at the opinion poll lead that Labour has, they live in hope. Thank you, Liam. Thank you so much. Now